All right, so we've got a later case update. It's actually pretty exciting. It's been a crazy, it's been a wild ride, to be honest. It's quite a process. Well, first of all, to produce a case, but then also to kind of manage the launch and shipping and responding on social media and just the logistics of, of actually making it happen. So many people have already purchased the case. It's kind of amazing. It actually, to look at it and realize and see people in the real world out there that are tweeting at me, using some version of the later case it's uh, it's a different type of experience from just publishing videos it's been a cool thing to be a part of up until this point and a big component in the launch a big reason and a motivation for going into this in the first place was around availability and so the voting mechanism was put into the website right from the jump so that you guys could actually influence what the next later cases were going to be under the assumption that the list of available cases was going to grow over time as the company and the volume was able to scale up. Now, the good news here is that it already has. We've, we've already seen people purchasing the cases as expected for the more popular devices that have that's now enabled us to go out and actually very quickly, rapidly develop for these new SKUs as well, the popular new OnePlus devices, which were the most requested. In fact, this one in the middle, the OnePlus 7 Pro, the most requested and voted for, if your device is still unsupported, that is where you should go. Because obviously, as you can tell, we're paying uh, close attention to what people are voting for, and it does influence the products going forward. And we're able to adapt fairly rapidly if the demand happens to be there. So in the middle here is the OnePlus 7 Pro later case. Yes, it looks a lot like the existing case, the first party case that OnePlus makes, but there are some modifications. So I'll show you, we'll do a quick comparison here. The OnePlus 7 Pro first party case is actually really difficult to get your hands on if you don't get one at launch. Out of stock in the UK, out of stock in Canada, I believe they're out of stock in the US. So nothing against OnePlus, that's where this one comes in. But then there's more to the story as well. As you can probably tell on the OnePlus case, you have a, a really large cutout in the center. It does leave a fair amount of space around the camera module and it also just brings the same cutout down below the flash module. So just one big Cut out. And then you've also got the OnePlus logo. Up until this point with later case, I'm not a huge fan of logos. And on this version, a dedicated laser cutout for the flash, independent of the camera module, and to bring the ramp all the way into the edge, as you can see there, of the camera, and actually sit a little higher than the camera itself when the case is laying on a table, it's actually laying on the Kevlar material. And of course this gives you more coverage as well, just because of how tight the cutout is, there's less opportunity for dust particles and things to actually sneak in there, wedge in there and live in there. And then the other elements from, from the other cases is carried over as well with the super easy. This is one of the nicest and easiest to remove cases of the entire lineup now. These are heading into production but they're not at the warehouse yet. So the volume is going to be limited. And if you are interested in one of these, you can actually head over and hit the pre-order right now. The other thing I should mention as well, oh, pre-order for delivery at the end of January. So you're not gonna have to wait that long. It's actually, the development process is fairly far along. The other thing I should mention, if you head over to the website, is there has been a price adjustment. So that's good news. It was part of the agenda to bring the price down to make it as accessible as possible. We did a part-time promotion at $35 and then it went back to the original $45. But as the volume has increased, I was able to reevaluate that the popularity of the case and so many people supporting the case that we've now been able to discount it again to $39. So it's sitting there at $39 for this pre-order, but also for the entire inventory right now. Moving along, we got another new case for the 7T, and I'll just jump right into the comparison there. This is a pretty simple case. The agenda here was to give a little bit of camera protection. So this ramp comes up and extends beyond the glass portion of the camera module. And on the first party version, you can see it leaves some space around the camera. The ramp is not as significant. It's just a different option, a different choice. So in OnePlus land, that now gives you support for the 70, 
the 7T Pro, and of course the 7 Pro. Okay, now the next part, we're talking about Huawei devices actually supporting three of those. I gotta give a shout out to everybody involved right now to be able to have this kind of turnaround to be able to support this many devices, which as I said, was the original motivation for me. Support here is P30, P30 Pro, and Mate 30 Pro. I understand it's not every single SKU from them, but these are the popular ones. Get the cutouts as tight as possible. I kind of like how this ramp moves along here ever so smoothly. It's one of the benefits of working with this particular material, working with Kevlar. This one is also interesting, which you'll see on this particular one. The ramp actually moves up this way first. So there's a ramp up to the camera unit there, and then it extends ever so slightly past the camera unit as well. Pops off like that, pops on these channels here that allow you to have that really easy on and off. This means later case supports 20 different SKUs, 20 different smartphone models. It always bugged me that the good accessories only existed for that limited set of devices, but it's, it's already crazy to say that that makes 20 smartphones supported by later case. Thanks so much to everybody that's been supporting up until this point. I'm listening, we're paying attention to what you're saying. That's the price point coming down. That's the new devices being supported as rapidly as possible. Shout out to everybody working on this as well. It's much appreciated. It's not easy. I'm telling you, customer service and 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 shipping and and tracking and and doing it globally. Man, it's a whole new perspective for me. It's not easy, but it's been rewarding and it's very interesting to me and I and I promise you I'm in this going forward. So we're going to continue to refine and support more devices. So go vote if you haven't yet. And if you have one of these phones, go pick up a case.